Hi guys, my name is Raleigh. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be reading Little People Big Dreams. Martin Luther King Jr. Written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigada. Illustrated by May Lai Dinganen. Little Martin was a spiritual boy from Atlanta who came from a long line of preachers. His dad was a preacher. His uncle was a preacher. His grandfather was a preacher. Maybe he'd become a great preacher too. One day, a friend invited him over to play. Martin was shocked when he was asked to leave because he was black. That day, he realized something terrible was going on. This terrible thing was called segregation. It meant that public places like restaurants and buses had separated spaces for black and white people. Martin and his friend were sent to different schools. Martin believed that one shouldn't remain silent or accept something if it's wrong. He promised himself that when he grew up, he'd fight injustice with the most powerful weapon of all, words. Martin studied at universities in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts, where he read about Mahatma Gandhi, the man who, improved, who had improved the lives of millions of Indians with peaceful methods of protests. When he finished his studies, Martin moved to Alabama and became the pastor of a church in Montgomery. Every Sunday from his pulpit, he encouraged his congregation to speak up about things that matter. One evening, a woman named Rosa was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus. Martin asked the people in the community not to take the bus again until the laws were changed. Many citizens were inspired by Rosa's story and Martin's words. Suddenly, buses were almost empty. They stayed empty for more than a year until segregation on Montgomery's buses finally ended. It was the first major civil right action in America, but not the last. Martin, Martin encouraged people all over the country to stand up for their rights and join in with peaceful protests. They were often attacked, and Martin was arrested 29 times, but he and his followers never fought back with force. He knew that hate can't drive out hate, only love can. Martin helped to organize a protest march on Washington, where he gave a life-changing speech. It began with four simple yet powerful words. I have a dream. The next year, Martin became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. His words of hope, peace, and justice called a nation to change its laws and make them equal for everyone. And if you listen to your heart, you can still hear little Martin asking you to keep his dream alive. A dream of a world where we are judged by our character, not by the color of our skin. Martin Luther King Jr., born 1929, died 1968. Martin Luther King Jr. was born, Michael, in Atlanta, Georgia, but later changed his name to Martin. Growing up in a family 
of pastors. Martin quickly learned to tell the difference between the right and wrong. His happy childhood gave him what he later called a strong determination for justice, an optimism that cut through the segregated world he was born into. When he was old enough to leave home to go to college, he combined studies of religion with the, the teachings of Gandhi, a leading activist who chose to protest with peaceful demonstrations, not violence. Martin learned from this and discovered that his writing and speeches were the best ways to change people's hearts and minds. One of his uh, first opportunities to do so was as pastor of Dexter Avenue Bap Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. There was his pas passionate sermons inspired a new sense of hope. At, at the same time, he, was also, he also became the leader of the first African-American nonviolent demonstration started by Rosa Park, known as the bus boycott. The protest lasted 382 days, and following that time, the Supreme Court of the United States declared that both black and white Americans should ride the buses as equals. Over the next 10 years, Martin traveled more than 6 million miles, catching the attention of the world with his dream. Where children would not be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. Martin's dream continues to inspire us to actions today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe. You're awesome. Bye.